Hi there, I'm Paxton Swisher here with the College Democrats of North Texas Weekly Update, and today I have with me... I'm Tristan White. I'm the treasurer yes. of the College Democrats of North Texas. He is no longer a hologram. Yeah, I'm, no, yeah, I'm actually here in real life. I'm yeah. back from uh, Austin for the break and back in school. <laughs> so... Would I'm, you, uh, before we get started, oh, yes. can you turn on the green screen sure. for us? <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. Um, Yes, we are filming on the couch. Yep. Now. Yeah, we didn't feel like setting it up. <laughs> We're lazy. So, School started again, so... Yeah, yeah. Which means uh, more chances to get involved with the College Democrats. Yes. But let's jump on into the news. Uh, Tristan, you want to take us away? Yes. Well, if you're in Texas, you'd know how Hurricane Harvey has struck the coast of Texas. Yeah. Horrible tragedy. It's really... It's been really devastating and... Uh, you know, like as I told Tristan earlier, it's very sobering, especially uh, being near the neck of the woods, and especially yes. when you have family down there, which tons of people at yeah. UNT do. Yeah, yes, I I don't because most of my family are in Florida, and I did have family that'd be evacuated for Hurricane Matthew, so I do understand how this feels. And of course, I'm pulling up information on my phone. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, the um, record-breaking floods. And in just in, in, in Houston, Houston yeah. and the just torrential amount of rain, it's, it's it's caused you know widespread damage, and then it's had ramifications even up to here, and that people are panicking about gas yes. not being available, yes. which is a little bit blown out of proportion. For yes, it was as a matter of fact, like most people that we disagree with, and in including Texas, like the the railroad commission, oh, just yeah. people disagree with, like no, there's not a fuel surge. Storage. It was yeah. basically a media. Right. freak out in like a possible thing so they created their own shortage right because people rush to the thing and then they're long lines yeah and, they and i had to basically run around the gas stations of denton to refill <laughs> my car which i'm a newly licensed driver so i didn't think about that before the storm um but so you know everyone calm down if you're in the if you're not in the houston area and, and was worrying about gas now if you would like to or help the coastal area, coastal area, we should say yes. Yeah. And if you if you would like to help out uh, people who are in that area, um, there are obviously tons of ways. I'm sure you've seen to get involved and help out. One of which that is here in uh, UNT is a drive that's being held in the union. Into the union, yes. There's a donation bins to the buy fuzzies tacos. It's on right. the second floor of the union, technically. Like it's like on the like, yeah. Like it, the union's numbered weird. But yeah, it's like when you walk, Fuzzy's Tacos. It's by Fuzzy's Tacos on the lower floor of Fuzzy's Tacos. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So. Definitely, if you haven't, I mean, there are lots of other ways to um, send donations and help out and donate to the Red Cross and stuff like that. But yes. if you are a busy student and, um, you know, want an easy easy way to help out, check, it, uh, check out those uh, donation centers in, in the union. And certainly, you know, uh, no matter your politics, uh, like Tristan was saying, you know, they're it's, Texans, and Texans look out for their yeah. own Americans, which should look out for their Yeah, do. and for the and Texans are always very proud of them, of their mm -hmm. status as Texans. Yeah. So we look out for each other. Um. Unfortunately, like the pre the president tried to, but he wound <laughs> up still. Donald Trumping it. Yeah. Like, what did you do? Complain of, like, say the crowd turned yeah. out. Oh, the crowd, then, but to be fair, the crowd was huge there. Huge, like, huge it, crowd. Huge, huge, yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, Greg Abbott, who I despise, at least I wasn't that mad at him. Like, even though it's like, there's like some things where it's like, he was eating a water burger and he was like, it's like, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're already showing that we're pulling ourselves together. I'm like, all right, maybe, I, I guess. That's yeah. like the, it's like, I'm still not a big fan of him, so maybe I'm biased, but. It's like, yes. eh. yeah. it's like it's like compared to Trump, it's like Abbott. At least it's like well, they know how to be politicians. They know yeah. like that's one of the politician one hundred and one like yeah. day two or something is how to respond to national tragedies in the most. What well, it may not be like authentic, but in a because uh, obviously Greg Abbott doesn't care about a large significant portion of Texans and, and does a lot of policies that yeah. marginalizes them. Like, but. Uh, he still that. represents them, yeah. so it's like it's part of his duty and to he knows what to try. Do say. At yeah. least try. It may not work out for him, but yeah. But and that's and Donald Trump doesn't. Uh, Do, like he <laughs> like he was like I don't even know if he tried. Like it wouldn't even be fair to say he tried. Uh, you know that yeah. is 
Yeah. It's like he guaranteed Abbott, it's like you can, you'll get anything you need. And then of course, uh, we have basically the support of the whole country, even representatives calling out Ted Cruz for who yeah. voted against Hurricane Sandy. and Sandy aid for uh, like yeah. libertarian reasons or I don't even remember. Well, what. just because it wasn't yeah. Texas. So he's yeah. like, fuck them. And uh, which is now funny because then what's his name? Chris Christie got in a spat with him yeah. over that, which you're both assholes guys. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like, some t- but a broken clock is right twice a day. Exactly. So it's, yeah. Like, yeah. it's like you can begrudgingly, I guess, agree. And then, of course, various candidates and elected officials around Texas have done their absolute best. Yeah. And, of course, Beto O'Rourke, the presumable nominee for the Senate mm-hmm. Democratic nominee, has done a bunch of Red Cross. No, yeah, he's like, been doing a. a yeah. Lot. Even Ted Cruz, who I yeah. hate, <laughs> is like, I mean, it's Texas. As we yeah. said, we. We look out for yeah. our own. Yep. So, um, turning to, um, I guess, a more lighter story, yes. it, uh, as the semester has officially begun, uh, so too will College Democrats of North Texas club meetings. Um, now, they are going to start the, uh, let's see, September 5th, Tuesday, September 5th, at 7 p.m. Yeah. in the Union 339. So yep. uh, brand new fancy building. Brand new, yeah. Normally we've fancy. been in Wooten Hall, and we've got upgraded because we had so many people sign up this year. Yes, which is awesome. Keep, please so, come. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have uh, people, officers, you know, speaking, introductory like fun stuff. Yeah, and uh, just chill up with us. Yeah, it's, it'll be super casual, and um, just even if you aren't even sure if you're like a Democrat. We, you don't even have to be a Democrat yeah. to join, and there's no like attendance requirements. So yeah. just come, come, come on down. Stay for yeah. as long as you like. See what you think of the club, and uh, we'd yeah. love to see you there. And and like stay if you like it. Yeah.